Hello, sleepy friends. I made sure to do a sound check again. <laughs> Very new to this video thing. Okay, so I want to talk today about complaining. <laughs> we all have seriously legit reasons to complain. And um, being known as the happy matters chick, you might be surprised to know that it was about 15 years ago I complained so much it cost me friendships. <laughs> I complained a lot. And the interesting thing was I wasn't just like remotely complaining about random things. My life, that's what I was talking about, my life. I mean, it was just the way that it was every day. And you have to wonder to yourself, like, I'm just being honest, right? So, I mean, how can that be a bad thing? So I decided to do this exercise where I took the notepad in my phone and um, I typed up all the legitimate things that I have in my life going on that I can complain about. Symptoms, um, personal situations. Uh, I didn't even get into anything outside of my world, my home and my job and my family. And I typed it all up and I emailed it to myself and I pasted it into a Word document and it was seven pages long. <laughs> Just one complaint per line, right? So I wanted to see how, what it would take to get it to one page. So I adjusted the margins down to like a half inch on the top and the bottom and I reduced the font. And I continued to reduce the font until it all fit on one piece of paper. These are all my legit complaints. <laughs> okay. 2.5 is the font size that I had to go to to make all of my very, very legitimate complaints fit on one piece of paper. So... What happened for me was I decided that I needed to just stop complaining about everything, everything and anything. I realized that um, complaining is a cascade for me. Like if I start talking about one thing and I'm like, oh yeah, and then there's this thing and then the, oh yeah, then there's this thing. And like none of my friends would judge me. I mean, I'm hurting. I'm tired. I have you know, issues in my face still nine months. Like I can put a microphone to my jaw joint and you can hear it going crunch, crunch, crunch. That's a totally legit complaint. And who would judge you, right? For complaining about something like that. Well, I decided I didn't want to hear it anymore. I got so sick of my story. I, I didn't want to tell it anymore. So I stopped. I stopped telling it. And I went to the people who were closest to me, my family, my coworkers, etc. And I said, listen, if you ask me how I'm doing, I'm going to say I'm doing great. And I am in my head. I'm great. I feel good about myself and my life. I'm happy. I'm, you know, comfortable with what I'm capable of doing. I have a lot of joy, a lot of joy in my life because that's what I choose. But there's always a but, right? I still have all my eight disabling disorders. I still have all the symptoms that go with my eight disabling disorders. I still can't open my mouth all the way. I still feel like someone's stabbing me in the jaw with a needle. All those things still exist. So don't expect me to remind you that I'm tired, to remind you my arms hurt, because I'm not going to do it. In this relationship, it's your responsibility to remember that I have issues, because I'm not going to talk to you about it. Unless I need something from you, or something like, like I have a reason to have a conversation about it, then that's a different story. So seven pages of things to complain about. And I know 
very easily, if I sat down, I could have 14 to 21 pages of things that I'm happy about. And, and the reason for that is because I looked for them. The reason for that is because I stopped caring about this. It doesn't do me any good. What good does it do to complain about bad things in your life? Do you feel better when you complain? No, you feel worse. <laughs> you get more depressed. You get tired. Just stop looking at it. Seriously, look at puppy videos. They're great. Look at your friends' posts. Be happy for people, you know, it's the end of the year. Kids are graduating and going off to school. I'm sure you have friends in your Facebook feed that are experiencing some really joyous things. Wedding season is coming. And none of these things are going to change for me. None of them. They're all kind of permanent. It's a lifelong issue, right? So what am I going to focus on? Am I going to focus on that? Or am I going to focus on the fact that I've got a half hour to kill before my office opens and I can shoot a video and try and make somebody's day a little bit easier and in turn make my own day easier, right? Because I told you before, one of my favorite phrases is be someone you want to hang around with. Nobody wants to hang out with this person who's always talking about this crap. You don't want to hang out with the person <laughs> who's always talking about their problems. So, enlighten everyone that your narcolepsy is never going away. Every time they ask, you're going to be tired. <laughs> you're going to have issues with your meds and you're going to have issues with functioning and your memory and your relationships. And there's always going to be something to complain about. But if you don't, if you choose not to, that's where things really start to change because you're just focusing on the good stuff instead of the bad stuff. And that's why I always say happy matters because I need the reminder. I don't want to be talking about that stuff. I want to be talking about good stuff. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. Give yourself a day. You know, pick one day where you decide you're not going to talk about your illness. You're not going to talk about your symptoms other than support group, venting, whatever, if you feel the need to do that. I don't mean that. I mean in your immediate life, your job, your kids, your family. Just pick one day where you don't, don't allow yourself to complain about anything and just see what it does for you. See if you feel more awake and less hurting and um, more clear in your head right? Because you're looking for good stuff and you're focusing on good stuff. Um, none of this stuff's going anywhere. So don't let that be your focus. That's it. Eight minutes. Ooh, long video. Sorry. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great day and I will see you on the Positively Narcolepsy page.